Walk the dog? <laughs> Is it time to buy a new pillow? <laughs> it's time to sell some chocolate. And not just any chocolate. World's finest chocolate. Hi, I'm Sophie. And if you're like me, you love chocolate. And we're selling chocolate from the biggest name in fundraising. World's finest chocolate. This fundraiser is fast. It's fun and it's easy. The more chocolate you sell, the more money your school will earn and the more prizes that you can win. A world's finest chocolate fundraiser is different from all others. You're only selling one thing. Chocolate. There's no more overpriced products. World's finest chocolate is not hard to sell. And world's finest chocolate is a great value. The money we raise will make your school a better place for everyone. So how do you start? First, the most important thing is to take your world's finest chocolate letter home today. Give it to your mom, dad, or grown-up at your home and ask them if you can help with the fundraiser. Have them sign the permission slip and bring it back to the school tomorrow and receive your first box of chocolate. Next, you need a goal. Here's yours. Sell one or more boxes of chocolate. That's going to be easy. Because these boxes almost sell themselves. So let's find out what's inside the box. 60 bars of chocolate that sell for only $1 each. Six different flavors to choose from. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, crisp, wafer, milk chocolate with almond, and caramel. There's also a money collection envelope inside each box. Write your name and your teacher's name on the envelope. Each time you sell something, put the money in the envelope. When all of your chocolate is sold, your envelope will have $60 inside. And to make it easier, change your smaller bills into larger ones before you turn in your envelope. If you want to sell another box of chocolate and win more prizes, have your parents or guardian sign the bottom of the envelope to give you permission. Okay, let's talk about the four chocolate fundraiser rules. Number one, chocolate melts, so keep it cool. Number two, this chocolate is delicious. Don't leave it out where your brothers or sisters or parents or pets can eat it. Number three, the box is worth $60. It's your responsibility, so keep it in a safe place. And number four, remember to keep yourself safe. Don't sell door to door without a grown up and don't sell to strangers by yourself. Here's a list of people you can sell to. Your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, cousins and friends, brothers and sisters, and your mom and dad. And sell to close neighbors with the help of a grown-up. And take your chocolates to your school sporting events. The possibilities are almost endless. When you talk to someone, let them know what group you're selling with and why you are raising money. People like to know who they're supporting. But don't ask if they would like a bar of chocolate. Instead, ask how many bars would you like? Sometimes someone might buy the whole box from you. It's that delicious. Here are a couple of helpful hints to help you sell. The easiest way to sell chocolates is to ask your parents to take a box to work. Then they can sell world's finest chocolate to their coworkers and friends. Whenever possible, use social media to help you sell. It's not rocket science. The more people who know you are selling world's finest chocolate, the more chocolate you will sell. We'll have a great sell if everyone sells one or more boxes of chocolate. Because if everyone sells a little, it'll add up to a lot. And the more you sell, the more prizes you will earn. So sell as many boxes as you can, so we can raise a lot of money for our school. Before you go sell, let's recap. Bring your signed permission slip back to the school. 
Remember your goal to sell one or more boxes of chocolate. Keep the chocolate and yourself safe during the fundraiser. Turn in the money and win lots of prizes. You're gonna do great things, I can tell. Now let's go out and sell some chocolate.